Time to put my truck bed rod holders to good use. As some of you saw with one of my previous videos, I'm having some minor problems with the boat. And I basically figured out what the problem was. It was the bilge pump, which I haven't fixed yet. So I figured instead of continuing to fiddle with the boat, I'll go fishing. Now I can fish in the boat as is, I just can't use the live well. I have part of the back of the boat taken apart right now. So I figured I'd take this as an opportunity to fish in this backwater area with my truck bed rod holders. I would say probably in a week or two, the water will come up and be too high to fish this particular spot from the bank. And I tell you what, it has warmed up the past couple of days. It almost hit 80 degrees today, and it's, I don't know, a cool 60, 65 right now. It actually feels pretty good out. So I have really high hopes that I might actually catch something here. And once I get a fish in, I will talk more of what I'm using here. These are brand new Akuma combos that I got with my new Akuma sponsorship. My partnership with Akuma. So let's see what I catch tonight. Yeah, first bite. Something small grabbed the head. I do have these locked down. I want the fish to hook itself. Maybe a bigger one will drop by. He's there. Yep, he's there. All right. And this is the shallow water. I can tell because this line was literally horizontal. Little guy. <laughs> First fish on my new combo. Little blue cat. I don't know how well this is going to show up at night time, but this is an Avenger, an Akuma Avenger, ABF 8000 on a seven and a half foot Akuma record chaser rod. I've had a rough couple of weeks of fishing, so catching anything is a welcome surprise. I know these guys grow much, much bigger, but I'm happy to have a fish. All right, let's get this guy back in the water. Grow up. Go the other way. What are you doing? Come on. You can do it. He is disoriented. There he goes. Oh. He's wanting to say bye to everyone. Come on. There you go. This water is quite shallow. Now because I'm using a spinning rod, I have downsized my hook and my sinker. This is just a three ounce sinker. And the hook is a, I think a five-aught team catfish double action circle hook. 
I get to reuse the bait, which is good. And the line on here is actually something new that I'm trying out. This is 50 pound braid. I think Akuma bought this brand. This is strong steel braid. It's their camo line, so it's got like yellow and black and green in it. And the yellow, you can definitely see at night. And it casts really well, so I'm already impressed with it a little bit. Now the big thing is, will this hold up to a 100 pound catfish? I don't think I cast it off. I was originally going to bring out my battle cats here because I've got a few brand new battle cats that I'm using on the boat. But I figured I'd try to break these in first. Now let's see if I can catch another fish tonight. we go again. Another shallow water one. See if he comes back. Whoa! a nice slow takedown. Just got done changing the battery on the GoPro. This is on the head. This is both fresh skipjack. I don't know if I said that earlier. Probably not seeing most of this fight because I'm behind the truck. A little bit bigger. Oh, splash me with water. That heat biting down on me. Come on, buddy, stop it. Ooh. Ow. Okay. Bite down on my thumb. Rinse them off a little bit for the camera. A little bit better quality fish here. Nice blue. At least they're slowly getting bigger tonight. I'm going to let this guy go. That's one fish per rod. So they're both officially broken in. And this guy ate the whole head. Time to get wet. Come on, let me go. Ha. That way. Okay, come on. You were lively. Now you don't want to go anywhere. Come on. He's definitely not going the right way. Hopefully here at Ori and himself. That way. This is what happens when you deal with shallow water like this. Come on. There he goes. He'll find his way. 
I figured I'd use another headpiece from one of the other skipjacks and I'm going to put it back out in a slightly deeper water. I don't know if you guys saw it earlier, but there's a bow fishing boat that's wandering around here shooting at carp and probably catfish and everything else in the water. I don't really have anything against bow fishing. I've actually been bow fishing myself. However, they do shoot carp and I've been chasing a trophy sized carp for quite a while now. And those big carp make easy targets when you're bow fishing. Bow fishing is a legal method of fishing in Tennessee. I just have to keep trying. Eventually I get that trophy sized carp. Now it would be really nice if I caught a trophy size catfish tonight. You can't really ignore a little catfish. They can help you win catfish tournaments. I'm just happy that I'm catching fish tonight. Oh, here we go again. Well, I'm on the little dink catfish. Fun times. You know, I was thinking that bait might not be there anymore. It was barely on the hook and it was quite beat up from that other catfish. So I'm going to reel this in and refresh the bait on this one. So I can have two fresh pieces of bait out. Well, it's still on here. I'm going to put a fresh piece on here anyway. I cut the gut pocket off. Maybe I'll get a better hookup ratio. You know, the gut was right there and I just sliced it right off. Now it's just a chunk of meat. I like taking the contents of the gut pocket out and just discarding them. And this makes excellent channel catfish bait. You just cut these into little squares and use like one-aught hooks to five-aught hooks and just hook one piece on. I've caught some pretty big channel catfish with just this part. I might save this and try to do this another day. Now I have a smaller piece of bait closer to the hook point. It's a little bit more aerodynamic too, so I'll get a couple of extra yards on this. Just got a hit on this one while I was resetting the GoPro. Still there. Yep. Another one off the head in the deep water. Deeper water. Probably 10 feet versus 3 or 4 feet. Man, I'm going to run out of heads if I keep using heads. I might get to keep this head. There's a little guy. I don't know what I got going on there. Uh oh. I'd like to reuse this. What is up with the no roll? Hmm. Have to figure this out in a moment. I normally don't use no rolls. I like using sinker slides. The bead got knotted up. That's what happened. There we go. This little guy wanted a big skipjack head. I got mud all over him. 
from the bank. I'm just going to toss them back real quick. Grow up. I'm getting bites on this one. When I'm fishing from the bank, I like the saddle hook, the skipjack head. But if I'm like in my boat in any kind of current, I hook it through the nostril, which is what Steve Douglas, the catfish dude, does. Let's see if I can get this out before this one goes down. One thing I don't like about distance casting no rolls, or at least bank fishing with no rolls, is they tend to separate from the bait, which lowers the distance, decreases the distance that you get a cast. And in that case, it put a twist on the rubber bead I have on it, causing the no roll to be like 50 feet away from the hook. So in the future, I might convert these back to sinker slides. Although you can have some of the same things happen with sinker slides. In reality, my leader is too long for bank fishing on both of these. I didn't rig them for bank fishing, and here I am bank fishing with them. And the short leader idea I got from Catfish Dave. It is getting quite late at night. I'm going to see if I can catch one more fish before I call it. I know you guys really can't see it too well on the camera, but there's the bow fisherman. Bunch of bright lights looking for carp. Well, I think I jinxed myself, or the otters that are in the water have scared all the fish away. There's a couple of those little rascals right at the edge of the light going after shad that this light is attracting towards shore. And I'd love to film them for you guys, but it's nighttime and otters are really fast. It can be hard to film them during the day when they're going after food. Anyway, it's been, I don't know, an hour and a half, maybe even two hours, and not a single bite. I think all the fish decided to leave. I'm going to reel these up and head home. It's been a successful night. I caught some fish. Even if they're little fish, it's better than no fish. Now, I want to thank you for taking your time out of your day to watch my video. I really appreciate it. And if you would do me a huge favor, hit that thumbs up. Hopefully, the fishing will improve this April. Hopefully, the fishing will improve this April. See you then.